what's up agents and welcome back to another division video today we're going to look at a build that has been asked around in my twitch chat so i thought i would put one together it's a slight variant on a build i have already done uh, but there was a very specific part of it that people wanted to see so i thought i'd put it together and there's some footage at the end where i ran it in a group and it works really really well not so well in solo because the more enemies you've got the better this runs but still usable nonetheless. But before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell so you are notified when I upload more Division videos. Even better, come on over to Twitch and say hi. I could be streaming live right now and if I'm not, don't forget to hit that follow button. And if you need a community Discord, there has never been a better time to join. You'll find the link down below in the description. And with all that said, let's get started. Okay, so when I was in uh, Twitch before, people were saying, oh, your ongoing directed build was really, really good, but what about a way of spreading the bullets and uh, making it, you know, just run a little bit better? Uh, and just for crowd control and you want things like that. So we thought, right, okay, well, we don't have to change things too much because really with ongoing directed, when we ran it last time, we definitely said that, you know, we definitely really want to keep all reds. All reds was definitely the key. Um, so we uh, changed things around a little bit and it was easy as this. So we got in the Seska backpack that we used in the previous build, but we just put on Creeping Death because when you apply a status effect, it also applies to all enemies within eight meters. Spreading things around really, really nice. But then also we put on the Vial because then that spreads another status effect. Uh, because status effects also apply damage over time debuff for 10 seconds. So they go together and when the enemies are hiding in cover, you're just doing that extra damage without having to even shoot them. So it's, it just works really, really nice. Now, you can two options here at the top. You can, I was using the Carnage at first because 25% extra weapon damage to bleeding enemies. But then the debuff from Pestilence, and although that doesn't chain in to these two, it does its own chain in for its own damage. It does a lot of damage. And putting these three together, plus ongoing directive, plus my teammates doing damage from my ongoing directive, it just mounted up to a lot. And the guys were like, you know what? This is really, really good. So let's run through the build from start to finish. So you've got all the info you need for putting it together. Agent requesting backup. First of all, we're going to go and take a look at our specialization. So obviously with the specialization, just be sure that you have got LMG damage in here or whatever gun you decide to use. If you don't decide to use the same as me, just be sure that you've got that spec in. Uh, otherwise, everything else here is pretty, pretty standard. Nothing really to worry about. Uh, but this is the one that is the key for buffing the team. Uh, group members get 10% bonus damage to targets with status effects. And we're putting status effects absolutely everywhere all the time. Fire Grenade is a nice extra for helping you proc ongoing directive at the start if you can't get it too easily. So, Pistol can be whatever you want. This one is really out of place, but it can be whatever you want. Pestilence, we don't really need to go over this. Everyone's probably got one by now. But hits apply a debuff dealing 100% weapon damage over 10 seconds. This stacks up to 50 times. Whenever an enemy dies, this with this debuff all stacks are transferred to a nearby enemy it's so powerful really really nice as i mentioned before the carnage with damage to armor you can put damage to health on depending on what kind of content you are running if you're running legendaries damage to health here will probably suit better uh, but then perfect sadist dealing 25 percent weapon damage to bleeding enemies then we're going to run the vial skill tier Status effects, hazard protection, and critical hit damage in this. The toxic delivery, status effects also apply a damage over time debuff. Total damage dealt is 50% equal to 50% of your concussion grenade damage and increased by your status effect attributes. Or just the one in this. We're not really worried about buffing anything else. It's certainly enough to help take down them red bars without having to worry about them. Then the Seska backpack, we want the crit chance, weapon damage, crit hit damage, crit chance, and crit damage. And creeping death which is the star of the show when you apply a status effect it also applies to all enemies within eight meters of your target and only a 15 second cooldown really nice and then to end we'll look at the od 
15% status effect obviously helps out with the vial before as well. 30% reload speed and then rules of engagement. Shooting a status affected enemy will apply a mark. Killing a marked enemy grants a full clip of hollow point ammo for your for your active weapon and half a clip for agent's active weapon for the rest of the party. Bit of a mouthful but we got there and the mark lasts for 10 seconds. Hollow point ammo amplifies weapon damage by 20% and applies bleed on hit. But obviously the talent buffs my damage to 35%. It does not apply to my teammate. Stats wise, I've got weapon damage, crit chance, crit chance. In the gloves, weapon damage, crit damage. In the knees, weapon damage, crit chance. And in the holster, weapon damage, crit to hit chance. Now, I'm running a jammer pulse because that puts a, a status effect on, uh, applies to disrupt status effect. So I can really quite easily start giving it damage from the vial right at the beginning of a fight. And then I kill and get my hollow point ammo as well. Revive a hive just in case of a bad situation. Uh, but that's up to you if you really want to run that there. I'll put the proper footage at the end, but just to give you an idea, not really of the damage or anything like that, but how it works. So obviously I can just hit this and bang, you can see that is spread everywhere and it's already doing some decent damage. I know they're easy mobs, but they're red bars nonetheless. They die really, really easily. So then the other benefit is then as well is look. Well, there you go. We're getting bleed everywhere as well now. More damage. And again, just doubling up on that damage that I'm in cover. I don't have to shoot and I'm doing damage passively and then really really easy and it just just works really really great and then when you start building in the stacks for the pestilence and that hits really really hard you can see the 200 300k when that starts building up can't build it up enough in the range for you to look at but unless i put it higher but really go and try this out the more enemies you've got the better it's just really cool and if we're going to look at the guns you can see 60% crit chance 98% crit damage and 85% crit uh, headshot damage with some armor damage change over to the pesty them stats are a little bit different because we don't have as much uh, crit chance on there but 50% crit chance 93% crit damage and 85% headshot damage but I'll take it but it's up to you you can adjust around I could swap one of my crit damage mods to a crit ch chance mod if I was going to be choosing to use the pesty more than anything else. That's going to be it for this build. Do let me know down below in the comments what version of ongoing directive you are running. What guns are you using? Throw that down there. Don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. The YouTube support. You guys have been insane recently. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much in helping me grow the channel. I really do appreciate every thumbs up. Every comment really does count. And if you want to say a hi in person over to twitch and say hi i could be streaming live right now if i'm not hit follow button and catch me next time thank you for watching agents i'll see you in the next video goodbye we need you to secure the memorial and remove the true sun's forces if they maintain this outpost the true sons will be a direct threat to the campus needed. Got a visual on additional hostiles in the memorial compound. They're moving south. There's a gate between you. It looks closed from here. Agent, you'll need to find a way to open that gate.
All clear. I repeat, the compound is all clear. Now that can't be all of them. Check the interior.